Hi, my name is Miss Jennifer and I am from the Robert F. Sink Memorial Library. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today we are going to have fun and what we are going to be doing today to pass the time of boredom, we will be doing art today. Yay! I know that you're excited and I am too. Now, the type of art that we will be doing today is called pointillism. And I know you're thinking, Miss Jennifer, what is pointillism? What in the world are we going to be doing today? Well, I have your answer. What pointillism is a type of art technique in which you use the very tip of a, a paintbrush you use the very tip and you make a dot um, or you can use the very tip of a q-tip and you will make a dot to uh, form your artwork or you can use um, the uh, tip of art pencils too to make a dot um, to draw your project um, with the pointillism technique um, you will not use strokes like we normally do in painting. We will only use dot, 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 dot. So, let's begin so that I can show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to draw a flower because I am going to be drawing a flower, so um, I want to do a flower, so let's go ahead and just do a flower. So let's go ahead and just draw a circle. Okay, make sure that you try to use a pencil because if you do need to erase something, um, if you make a mistake, you will need to erase. So please use a pencil. Okay. Then the next thing that we are going to do is um, since I am going to do a sunflower, I am going to uh, draw rays. So I'm going to make it like a sun. And this is going to be so easy for me. When I come to try to do my petals, it's going to be so easy for me doing it this way. Okay. Let me see. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are using a pencil. So if by chance we find out that we do need to erase something, that's fine. Um, so, the next thing we are going to do to make our petals easy, we are going to then go ahead and uh, draw like a half circle, okay? Then, to make it even easier on us, we are going to twist our paper around so that the process is even easier. Then we are going to keep twisting and keep twisting. And again, by doing this process this way, it just makes it so much easier. Okay, and we gotta keep twisting and twisting and twisting. See, and I need to erase that and just Let me keep twisting. This is going to be a pretty flower. Okay, and we have come to our last one, so we're going to do like so. Okay, so you should have something um, like so if you have been following my directions and you know what yours may even look better than mine 
but now you have a flower. So the next thing we are going to do is draw the stem. So just draw a stem straight down. Okay. Just draw that stem. Okay. Now we are going to give our flower a leaf. So let's give our little flower a leaf right here. So we are going to draw like a, um, a, a football shape. Okay, so it would be like so. All right. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to get our colors together. Yay, this is the fun part. We are now going to have some fun, 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 fun. Again, I miss all of you who are my library supporters and have come into the library. I cannot wait to see your happy faces again. Okay. Let's see. And again, like I said, we are just getting these colors together. So when we start using our technique it makes it so much easier okay all right now what we're gonna do is we are going to start tracing our pencil designs first and the first the um first thing that we are, we are going to uh, trace is this circle so let's dab our little Q-tip. And again, pointillism means that you are drawing, but we are not using strokes like this. What we're doing is we are dotting like so. Dot, dot, dot 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 and we would just keep doing it again no strokes we are just dotting I want you all to put up your designs on Facebook. I cannot wait to see what you will create. Okay. Now, since we have traced our um, circle, um, we are going to then go, go inside of the circle and just uh, dot, 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 dot. Again, I am looking for somebody to challenge and I want to see those nice creative pictures on Facebook. You have to outdo Miss Jennifer. And I know many of you out there who are artists who will outdo Miss Jennifer. Okay. Now, what I want to show you, because we have been using the other uh, Q-tip, I want us to see what this would look like by using the point, the very tip of a paintbrush. So let's change up a little bit and see how that will affect our little dotting process. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's making it. There is a difference. You know? I really like my um, Q-tip better. I don't like, uh, and it might be because the brush is kind of old. I, I don't know, but I'm not liking this at all. I'm gonna switch back up to my Q-tip. My Q-tip seems like it really makes some nice little rounded circles so 
that's how we are gonna finish this off. All right, so now that we've done that, what we're, what we are gonna do next is we are going to do a petal. So let's go ahead and start with our petal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix colors because you can mix colors. Um, I'm going to mix red and yellow together. And can anyone tell me what red and yellow make when they are mixed together? Can anybody tell me what red and yellow make when they are mixed together? Well, it, it makes kind of this orange color. So we are going to dot, dot, dot. And yes, I know you're saying, Miss Jennifer, you forgot to outline your flower. Yes, I did. I forgot. So I'm going to outline my flower. Sorry. Miss Jennifer forgets to. So that's what I am going to do. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the middle with this. And we just keep dotting, dotting like, like we did before. You all have it, you all are experts by now. All right, good job. I see, I can see you all in viral land, making some great dots. Okay, so, this is what you should have come up with. Now, when you are finished at the end, you are gonna come up with this pretty picture and it will be like so. So again, um, this will be the end of, um, once you finish, um, you should have something that is like this, a design and i am calling for a challenge and i want you to hashtag this a rf sync memorial library challenge um just show miss jennifer what what type of skills you have thank you very much for coming to visit miss jennifer at the rf sync memorial library virtual pointillism class hope to see you soon bye-bye now